Pleased to announce the arrival of our presiding officer, the Executive Secretary Lucas P. Bersamin. Well, he is joined by the outgoing and incoming Chiefs of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Together with them is his Special Assistant to the President, Anton Lagdameo Jr. As we now proceed with the ceremony, we shall have the entry of the colors. Enter the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, the Philippine National Anthem. Bayang magiliw, pwedas ng sinamanan, alam ng puso, sa dipig mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, duyan ka ng magiting, sa manluluti, di ka pasisiin. Sa dagat at mundo, sa simula, sa nangit mong bagaw, May dilag ang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal. Ang islap ng wataw at may tagumpay na nagmimingbing. Ang pituwin at araw na kailang pamay di magigiling. Lupa ng araw ng walhati pagsimpa, buhay ay langit sa piling mo. Aming ligaya na pag may mga api, ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo. Please remain standing for the invocation to be officiated by the Acting Chief Chaplain Service, Armed Forces of the Philippines, Colonel Daniel D. Tansi. The second voice of the one who has presided over all the changing scenes of salvation history speak with his words in Revelation chapter 21, verse 5. I make all things new. Let us pray. O God, Almighty Father, who arranges the completion of the renovating process lying far ahead, but as certain as the sunrise, accept our supplication to sanctify this change of command ceremony. In mutual support to the honorary Lieutenant General Bartolome Vicente Orpilla Bacaro, Jr., Philippine Army, a Medal of Valor Awardee, 
and known for doing common things uncommonly well. We give thanks for his leadership that pursued the promptings of the highest desires of this noble organization. Clothe him, therefore, with the mantle of your divine influence as he continues his life where the spirit blows and fully becomes the person you wanted him to be. Turn also your loving gaze to the 59 Chief of Staff Armed Forces of the Philippines, General Andres Castor Centino, Philippine Army. A soldier more than a Chief of Staff, an emotional giant soldier who gives even more to others than to himself. As you have chosen him with this dignity, bestow upon him your wisdom and guidance. In a special way, we pray for the armed forces of the Philippines, as you, Almighty Father, have granted divine assistance in the many notable campaigns of the army soldiers, airmen, sailors, marines, and technical administrative staff officers. Keep them at peace with your divine protection. Extend the fullness of your heart-helping assurance and guide them in all their duties of protecting the people, securing the nation. Finally, we implore your distinct benediction on the guest of honor and presiding officer, Honorable Lucas Puruganan Bersamin, Executive Secretary. Accord upon him your divine manifestation the Shekinah that restores faith and unity for the future of sufficiency, through which every Filipino takes delight in inclusive opportunities and sustainable comfort. With your Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Our guest may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, we welcome you all to the Armed Forces of the Philippines Change of Command Ceremony. On this occasion, we'll witness the changing of the guards of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. From the outgoing leader, Lieutenant General Bartolome Vicente O. Bacaro, to the incoming leader, General Andres C. Centino. On this occasion, we recognize the man who stirred 130,000 strong members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. In today's ceremony, we are indeed privileged to have with us in our midst the Executive Secretary Lucas P. Bersamin as our guest of honor and presiding officer. Highlighting today's ceremony is the presentation of award to the outgoing Chief of Staff Armed Forces of the Philippines for the exceptional performance rendered during his term. The award to be presented is the Distinguished Service Star. We'd like now to request Lieutenant General Bartolome Vicente O. Bacaro, sir, to stand and step forward as a citation of the award will be read by the Adjutant General Armed Forces of the Philippines, Colonel Bernardo R. Fortes, Jr. General Headquarters, Armed Forces of the Philippines, Camp General Emilio Aguinaldo, Quezon City. General Orders No. 12, published on 7 January 2023, Award of Distinguished Service Star. Pursuant to Paragraph 2A6, Section 1-2, Chapter 1, Armed Forces of the Philippines, Regulations G131-054, dated 26 June 2014. The Distinguished Service Star is hereby awarded to Lieutenant General Bortolome Vicente Orpilla Bacaro, Officer 986 for the Philippine Army, for eminently meritorious and valuable service rendered to the Philippine government as the 58th Chief of Staff Armed Forces of the Philippines from 8 August 2022 to 7 January 2023, imbued with firm resolve and commitment in ensuring the AFP's all out support to implement the Executive Order 70 that created the National Task Force to end local communist armed conflict. Lieutenant General Bacaro continued the institution of policies and adoption of measures through strategic planning and stakeholder engagement and convergence of efforts which led to decisive military accomplishments and progressive development on conflict-affected, conflict-vulnerable areas and sustain the continuity of the government's vision of achieving a strategic victory against terrorism, giving premium to the military forces' localized peace-building efforts through a multi-stakeholder 
whole of nation approach, the concerted efforts on the conduct of focused military operations, intelligence operations, and intensified the stakeholders' engagement resulted in the neutralization of several CTG personalities. And aside from the recorded surrender of the CNT regulars and supporters, the AFP, under his leadership, significantly reduced the CTG firearms. Among the significant accomplishments during the period were the recent battlefield introduction in Las Navas, Northern Samar, on November 22, which resulted in the neutralization of six high-value individuals of Eastern Visayas Regional Party Committee and the capture of 18 high-powered firearms, and the recent encounter in Bagumbayan Sultan Kodrat on November 24, that resulted in the neutralization of six CTG members and capture of four high-powered firearms. And during his tenure, the involvement of LGUs and NGOs has allowed the military troops to focus more on combat missions, implementation of the Barangay Development Program that has effectively addressed the socioeconomic issues and the interference against the CPP and PA agrarian revolution narratives and harmonious collaboration on the NTF LCAC member agencies. Further, the AAP established additional littoral monitoring stations throughout the country to increase the maritime situational awareness. On the other hand, the West Philippine Sea Development Project was initiated that aims to develop the facilities to sustain habitability and increase our troops in the Philippine occupied features in the West Philippine Sea. Moreover, through his guidance, the country's military forces recognize the importance of our international counterparts, putting effort into fortifying our relations with our partner nations through international fora and dialogues, conducting training, military exchanges, and joint combined exercises. Moreover, during his command, Lieutenant General Bakaro affected significant guidance towards a strengthened and more capable armed forces through the organization's modernization program. Further, with his professional competence and leadership acumen, Lieutenant General Bakaro exhibited outstanding performance in his duties and responsibilities through adherence to the core values of the armed forces of the Philippines and the relentless pursuit for organizational transformation through good governance, accountability, and transparency. Moreover, during his stint as the Chief of Staff AFP, he decisively supported the vision for progressive change and reform in the organization. Executive by his strong encouragement of being genuine commitment of pursuing organizational excellence, resulting in a 91% conferral of units and offices under the AAP trip. With this direct supervision, the AAP family is now more united, more engaged, and determined to diligently carry out their noble duties of securing the people and the state. By these achievements, Lieutenant General Bartolome Vicente Orpilla Bacaro earned distinguished not only for himself, but also for the armed forces of the Philippines. By command of General Centino, Romel Anthony Santo Domingo Reyes, Vice Admiral Philippine Navy, the Deputy Chief of Staff, Official Bernardo Arportes Jr., Philippine Army, Master in National Security Administration, the Adjutant General. We'd like to request the response of our uh, retiring, uh, outgoing uh, Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, Mrs. Soledad Butz Bacaro, ma'am, to assist in the awarding. The Executive Secretary, Lucas P. Bersamin, the presiding officer, is now requested to present the award. To be assisted by the Deputy Chief of Staff for Personnel J-1, Brigadier General Jose Maria R. Cuerpo II. May we request everyone to please rise as we witness the presentation of the award. Well, congratulations, Lieutenant General Bacaro, sir. Thank you to the Executive Secretary, to uh, J1, and to Mrs. Bacaro. Please be seated. Once again, a big hand for the outgoing Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. We shall now move on with the change of command ceremony. The relief and designation orders will be read by the Adjutant General, Armed Forces of the Philippines. General Headquarters, Armed Forces of the Philippines, Camp General Emilio Aguinaldo, Quezon City, 
General Orders No. 11, published on 6 January 2023, Section 1, Termination, Designation of Lieutenant General Bartolome Vicente Orpilla Bacaro, Office Adas 9864, Philippine Army, as Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines, is terminated effective 6 January 2023, Section 2, Designation. General Andres Castor Centino, Officer Das 9851, Philippine Army, is designated as Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines, effective 6 January 2023, by command of Lieutenant General Bacaro, Romel Anthony Santo Domingo Reyes, Vice Admiral Philippine Navy, the Deputy Chief of Staff, Official Bernardo Arportes Jr., Colonel Philippine Army, Master in National Security Administration, the Adjutant General. The outgoing Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, Lieutenant General Bartolome Vicente O. Bacaro, will now give his remarks, after which he will read and sign the order for his relinquishment of command. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let me start by, of course, acknowledging our distinguished guests and, our, of course, our presiding officer, the Executive Secretary, uh, the Honorable uh, uh, Lucas Bersamin, sir, the incoming uh, Chief of Staff of the 57th and the 59th, Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of uh, the Philippines, uh, General Andres Castor Centino, of course, the Special Assistant to the President, uh, Sir um, Antonio Lagdameo, uh, Father Dan Tansip, the Vice Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, Major General Art Cordura, the Deputy Chief of Staff, Vice Admiral Chapi Reyes. Of course, we also have with us the Major Service Commanders. Let me start with the Commanding General of the Philippine Army, Lieutenant General uh, Omet Browner, uh, Rear Admiral uh, June Adasi, and of, please, and uh, the Commanding General of uh, the uh, Philippine Air Force, uh, Major General Stephen pa Pareño, by the way, Foyk Pala, Foyk Flag Officer in Command. My apologies. Members of uh, the J Staff, please stand to be recognized. Members of the special staff who are special and uh, staff who are present, uh, other senior officers uh, who are here, please take your seat. Of course, uh, members of uh, the OCS uh, team, uh, please stand up. I think they, most of them are here sir, to make sure that uh, I step down uh, so that uh, Andy can take over. Of course, uh, Please take your seats, and of course, before I forget, uh, let me introduce the members of my family. Uh, I have my wife here, Boots, Ma, please. My uh, daughter, Tracy, uh, my son, uh, Pio, and uh, his friend, Ali, and uh, my eldest, uh, the Arnold. Okay. Is the Sergeant Major here? Yes, uh, my Sergeant Major, for the last time. I will call you my Sergeant Major. Uh, Chief, uh, First Chief Master Sergeant uh, Rogelio Obilio. Other senior NCOs were present. Mga kasamang kasundaluhan, isang uh, magandang uh, umaga sa ating land. And of course, uh, let me also acknowledge those who are joining us uh, via VTC. I think uh, most of the division commanders and the uh, area commands are uh, joining us uh, today. I have a prepared speech, but I would ask uh, that I, be the, I do, be the, uh, dispense of uh, the prepared speech uh, because uh, I think I'd just like focus on extending my gratitude to those who made uh, all of these things possible. Let me start by, uh, of course, the Almighty uh, for uh, the grace, the continuing bountiful grace that he has granted to me and my family. Uh, keeping the family strong, and of course, uh, keeping the family healthy. Second is, of course, to our Commander-in-Chief for the trust and confidence that he has accorded me to lead the Armed Forces of the Philippines. The members of uh, the J Staff. Oh, let me start with the Vice Chief of Staff and the uh, Deputy uh, Chief of Staff. 
for providing supervision and, of course, leadership in areas where I cannot cover. Thank you very much. I appreciate the uh, support you have extended to me. The members of the J staff, for your sound recommendations, for the support, and for the friendship that you have accorded me. I wish that in the future I could repay you. To, oh, I forgot to acknowledge uh, my classmates. Uh, we have uh, Yusek uh, Gakal, Giorgio Gakal, and uh, Yusek uh, Aji Madriaga. My apologies. <laughs> to the major service commanders, again, for the support that you have extended me. I know that uh, in your own little way, uh, even without me knowing, you have been extending support to me in the performance of my duties by, of course, doing your jobs very well and uh, trying to touch base with our soldiers in areas where I cannot visit. Maraming salamat sa inyo. To my family, uh, Boots, uh, for always being there. You know, sabi nga, you are the, wi the, the wings beneath my wing. Uh, you are the wind beneath my wings. Uh, thank you, Mama. Uh, to my uh, children, uh, you have been the source of uh, an ending inspiration and motivation. Thank you. And now I have more time with you. To Team OCS, uh, maraming salamat sa inyo. Of course, uh, the Team OCS is led by uh, Colonel Rimrad Ferrer. Uh, I know that uh, life with me was difficult uh, difficult in the sense that sometimes you felt that I was pushing you against the wall in the performance of your duties, in, in satisfying and complying with my requirements. Please, bear in mind that it was not my intent to make life difficult for you. My only intent was for you to accomplish your mission and to bring out the best in you. Sa mga sabang kong sundalo, Marino, Airmen and sailors. Sa mga patuloy na nagtitiwala at sumuporta sa akin, maraming maraming salamat. Gaya ng sabi ko kanina, it is my fervent wish that I can repay in, uh, in whatever way no, I can dun sa suporta ang ibinigay niyo sa akin. I have felt the outpouring support, especially last night, you know, uh, hindi tumigil yung aking cellphone. Uh, messages coming from people that I do not even know. Uh, extending their uh, support and well wishes as I retire today. So with that, again, from the bottom of my heart, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Thank you. Now I will read my relinquishment order. General Headquarters, Armed Forces of the Philippines, Camp General Emilio Aguinaldo, Quezon City, 07 January 2023. Relinquishment order. General Orders number 11, pursuant to Section 1, Paragraph 1, dated 06 January 2023, I hereby relinquish my duties and responsibilities as Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines, effective this date, and I sign. The incoming Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines, General Andres Centino, will read and sign the order for his assumption of command. General Headquarters, Armed Forces of the Philippines, Camp General Emilio Aguinaldo, Quezon City, 07 January 2023. Assumption Order. General Orders Number 11, Pursuant to Section 2, Paragraph 1, dated 6 January 2023. I hereby assume the duties and responsibilities as the Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines, effective this date. And I sign in your presence.
We shall now witness the handover of the command symbol to be presided by the Executive Secretary, Lucas P. Bersamin. Being handed over is a saber, a symbol of responsibility that goes with command and authority. It is closely associated with military leadership. The handover of the command symbol represents the dynamism of the military organization. Responsibilities of the outgoing commander are being relinquished, yet a successor of same standard, reared with excellence just like him, accepts the responsibilities and stewardship of the command the outgoing commander will leave behind. Once again, congratulations to both the immediate past and new Chiefs of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. And thank you very much to the Executive Secretary. The new Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, General Andres Castor Centino, will deliver his remarks, after which he will introduce the presiding officer. First, may I uh, acknowledge the uh, person that is here in front, our presiding uh, officer, the executive secretary, the Honorable Lucas Bersamin, sir. The senior assistant to the president, Secretary Anton Lagdameo, sir. My co-principal, the outgoing chief of staff of the Philippines, Lieutenant General Bartolo Vicente Bacaro. And uh, Mrs. Bacaro, Boots Bacaro, and the members of his family. Our uh, chaplain, uh, Colonel uh, Daniel Tansip. May I acknowledge also uh, the Vice Chief of Staff, AP, Major General Art Cordura, the uh, Deputy Chief of Staff, uh, Vice Admiral uh, Romel Reyes, the Major Service Commanders. Lieutenant General uh, Romeo Browner of the Philippine Army, the Flag Officer in Command of the Philippine Navy, uh, Rear Admiral Toribio June Adasi Jr., the Commanding General of the Philippine Air Force, Major General St Stephen Pareño. <laughs> Members of the Joint Staff may acknowledge also the representatives from the Department of National Defense, Under Secretary Franco Nemesio Gagal and Under Secretary Ignacio Madriaga. <laughs> Officers, men, and women of the General Headquarters, the attendees online, of course, our uh, first Chief Master Sergeant, uh, first Chief Master Sergeant Obilio. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. At the outset, I would like to thank everyone present here for bearing witness to a time-honored tradition of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, the change of command ceremony. My remarks will be short. I would like to express my gratitude to the following for ensuring the smooth transition of the change of command of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. To our Commander-in-Chief, President Ferdinand Marcos, Jr., I thank you for your trust and confidence in my designation as your Chief of Staff. It is indeed a rare privilege to serve our country in this capacity under your direction. To Executive Secretary, the Honorable Lucas Bersamin, and Special Assistant to the President, Secretary Anton Lagdameo, I thank you both, sirs, for your favorable endorsements to the President of my designation. To Senior Undersecretary Faustino, and Lieutenant General Bacaro, the Defense Department, and the Armed Forces, thank you for your leadership in ensuring that our mandates are, were implemented and accomplished successfully. To the officers of the Armed Forces, the men and women in uniform, I thank you for your continued professionalism and dedication to providing the best in our service to the Filipino people. Allow me to speak on what is close to my heart professionalism and meritocracy in the armed forces of the Philippines. 
<clears throat> in my 35 years of military service, I have witnessed the AP grow capable and strong through the years. And through the years, laws covering our organization have been reviewed and revised in an effort to remain relevant and responsive and current. These laws pertain to our most essential resource, our personnel. Republic Act 1179 seeks to strengthen the capabilities of the AFP and enhance its professionalism. This law was passed for the betterment of the armed forces future. It is intended to give us a compass that codifies our personal designation, selection, promotion, and attrition, thus resulting in proficient and qualified servicemen and women. It aims to provide for the selection of the most competent, the most capable, and the most deserving leaders. And as we strive to put this law into effect, we as an organization cannot afford to remain or to be divided and squabbling on how its interpretation stands to benefit one over the other and lose focus on what is best for the armed forces as a whole. Therefore, to implement this law, the armed forces of the Philippines needs strong and determined leaders capable of steering the organization in the direction of stabilizing unity and ushering in a truly modern and professional armed forces. Today, as I take on this responsibility as chief of staff, I reiterate what I have focused on in the past to comply with the urgent task at hand. While significant gains have been achieved in our security campaigns, there remain critical tasks to be carried out that needs to be fully complied. We must ensure that all our resources are employed to, de to, to definitively address all the current threats that remain and emerging threats that pose. The commitment of the armed forces to this endeavor directly paves the way for true progress and sustainable development in our country. Even in times of natural calamities, the armed forces must strive to continue to provide the necessary service and assistance throughout the country, most especially in, a, in, our, in the most remote regions. We must make every effort to minimize casualties of our countrymen through proactive humanitarian dis and disaster response. We, the Armed Forces of the Philippines, are at a decisive moment as we near the completion of our most urgent tasks. We must not waver in our duty and service. Our actions today put an end to the division and conflict that has long plagued our country's past and derailed our supposedly prosperous future. Our organization, the Armed Forces of the Philippines, is a capable and professional organization. As our Commander-in-Chief, stated in a State of the Nation address last July, we will endure. Just as the state of our nation is sound, so is its armed forces. As I close, I would like to, say, to pay tribute to the exemplary service of our honorary, the outgoing Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the, of the Philippines, Lieutenant General Vicente Bar uh, Bartolome Vicente Orpilia Bacaro, our Medal for Valor awardee and living hero for the exemplary service that you have rendered. And of course, to the family who have been supporting him all the way. Sir, I wish you all the best. And uh, I wish you uh, my, my best wishes to, your, to you and your family and your future endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, soldiers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, this is General Andres Castor Centino, your Chief of Staff, once again, ready to lead. Thank you very much. And uh, for my most pleasurable task, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce our presiding officer, the Executive Secretary, the Honorable Lu Lucas Bersamin, sir. Thank you. Uh, please uh, be seated. Excuse me if I have any failings today. This is my first time to be uh, in the presence of so many intimidating uniformed 
officers. Let me first greet uh, the persons in attendance. My good friend, Secretary Anton Lagdameo. He is the closest to the President as far as physical distance is concerned. Kung minsan uh, tinatawag ko siyang bampira dahil malapit ng dumugo ang tenga ni Presidente sa kalapitan ng kanyang uh, pagbubulong. <laughs> of course, our newly installed uh, General Andres uh, Centino, Chief of Staff, I am uh, given to understand that this is his second stint as Chief of Staff, which is uh, a rare uh, occurrence in the armed forces. The Honorable Outgoing Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Bartolome Vicente Bacaro, and uh, Mrs. Boots uh, Bacaro, and the family of uh, Lieutenant General Bacaro. Major General uh, Arthur Cordura, Vice Chief of Staff. Vice Admiral uh, Romel Anthony Reyes, the Deputy Chief of Staff. The Command Sergeant Major, uh, Rogelio Obilio, yes sir. The major service commanders, of course, uh, Lieutenant General Romeo S. Browner, Jr., <laughs> Commanding General of the Philippine uh, Army, Major General Stephen Pareño, Commanding General of the Philippine Air Force, and Rear Admiral Toribio Adasi, Flag Officer in Command of the Philippine Navy. <laughs> Colonel Daniel Tansip, Acting Chief Chaplain Service. Do we get to appoint you as cha Chief Chaplain? Or it is the... <laughs> I used to be a seminarian also at some other time. Members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, brave soldiers all, good morning to you all. I must confess that I did not know what to say today because this is, the, this is really the first time I will come in the presence of so many gallant men and women and to preside no less at the chains of command of the armed forces of the Philippines. I am familiar with the armed forces of the Philippines on a limited scale. My father served in the last world war and he retired as a uh, major in the armed forces, uh, Philippine Army, because he was part of the medical corps. His last assignment was in Libis, uh, the engineering brigade over there. But I and my siblings do not know anything at all about uh, the military life because we never grew up in a camp. Our father was not a professional soldier. That is what I wanted to say. But today, this morning, I am much impressed by how you respect tradition. The change of command is a tradition that should remain with you forever. Let me go to thanking Lieutenant General Bacaro. I have not known too much about Bob Bacaro, but I have heard of his bravery, of his exploits in the battlefield. He is, in fact, a Medal of Valor recipient. And the President always mentions that to us, to show him the highest respect and regard because of his gallantry in action, because of his achievements in the battlefield. The president, as you know, uh, was a part of the special forces. He undertook training uh, in his prime. He is still in his prime, of course. But he really sees the worth of a soldier 
who has sacrificed a lot. We see that soldier today in the departing Chief of Staff, General Bacaro. I also would like to acknowledge with gratitude the support of Mrs. Boots Bacaro and the children of Lieutenant General Bacaro. I know, I know that without your support, without your abiding uh, uh, presence by his side, he would not have had this opportunity to make great sacrifices for our country. Thank you, Madam Boots and the family. Let me assure you that the President, as the Commander-in-Chief, always remembers, always takes into serious and good account all your personal and professional qualifications and your loyalty to the flag and the Constitution whenever he ponders on who or how you would go up the ladder of leadership in this massive organization that we know as the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Secretary Lagdameo and I and the other people who work under the office of the President always have this reminder from the President to give preeminence and priority to, the merit, to those who merit the promotions or to those who have given much of themselves to the service of our country. Now, as I told you a while back, I was impressed, much impressed by your exhibition of obeisance to a great and hallowed tradition of chains of command. The civilian side of our country needs that kind of chains of command tradition. Mabuti na lang na hanggang ngayon wala pang nangyayari na umaayaw tumanggap ng resulta ng eleksyon sa ating bayan na kagaya sa Amerika yung nangyayari doon. Napakahirap ang ganyang pangyayari kung yan man ay magaganap sa ating bayan. So continue with this tradition where you respect each other, where you give so much uh, consideration to the qualifications of your fellow officers in order to enable your organization, the AFP, to move on forward, to move forward instead of looking back. This tradition is worth emulating by the civilian sector of the population. And I will remember this moment and will, of course, look back to this occasion as that beacon light in order to guide smoother transitions in the civilian and political uh, sectors of our society. As I said, I was not ready with a speech and uh, I spoke from the heart and I really would like to end now. Uh, I am sure that every one of you, you know your oaths of office, you have expressed and uh, practiced your loyalty to the Constitution and to the flag. Continue on that course. Once again, congratulations to General Centino. As far as Lieutenant General Bacaro is concerned, I don't think that this is uh, going to be the end of his public life. Uh, we are going to give true value to your uh, achievements and we will always remember your service and sacrifices for the country. Rest assured of that, uh, Lieutenant Bac General Bacaro. Thank you all and good morning again. Once again, thank you very much to our presiding officer, the Executive Secretary, the Honorable Lucas P. Bersamin.
Thank you. Please be seated. We'd like now to request the uh, new Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, General Centino, sir, to present the memento to the immediate past Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. The memento is a portrait of the facade of the Jitschke building. Likewise, a memento will also be presented to our guest of honor and presiding officer, the Honorable Executive Secretary Lucas P. Bersamin. Well, uh, from here, ladies and gentlemen, as you wind up today's ceremony, we'd like to enjoin everyone to stand for the exit of callers. Exit the callers. Sa ating mga pinagpipitagan ng panauhin, sa punto pong ito nagtatapos ang ating seremonya sa pagpapalit ng pamunuan ng sandatahang lakas ng Pilipinas. Meantime, please be seated as we have the photo opportunity with our principals. Well, for the photo opportunity, we'll start off with our distinguished personalities on stage. May we request our principals to kindly please proceed at the center stage for the photo opportunity. Thank you, sirs. Next to join would be the uh, immediate family of uh, the immediate past chief of staff. Following after the immediate family, we'll have the major service commanders with our Vice Chief of Staff Armed Forces of the Philippines and the Deputy Chief of Staff Armed Forces of the Philippines. Well, thank you very much to the immediate family of uh, General Bacano. Once again, I would like to request the uh, Major Service Commanders with our uh, Vice Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines, and the Deputy Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines.
Next would be the area commanders who are present, the joint and personnel staff, and the commanders and chiefs of the AFP-wide service commands. Okay, thank you very much to the major service commanders, to the vice chief of staff, armed forces of the Philippines, and the deputy chief of staff. Once again, we'd like now to uh, call on the area commanders present with our uh, joint staff as well as the commanders and chiefs of APSUS. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that formally ends our activity for this morning. May we request everyone to kindly please be seated. Okay, I would like to uh, request the members of uh, PME Class of 1988 for the uh, photo opportunity. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that formally ends our activity for this morning. I request everyone to kindly please remain seated as we await for the presiding officer, the Executive Secretary, the Honorable Lucas Pieber Samin, to leave the hall. Well, of course, so once again, uh, we would like to thank the Honorable Executive Secretary, Lucas uh, P. Bersamin, as well as the uh, Special Assistant to the President, Anton Lagdameo. Muli po ang aming pasasalamat sa lahat ng nagsidalo sa seremonyang ito. Manatili pong ligtas at may malusog na pangangatawan. Ito po ang yung lingkod na si Karel Dabo mula po sa Hukbong Katihan ng Pilipinas. At ako naman po si Major Ferdinand Paolo Esquiocho mula sa Civil Relations Service of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Sumaatin ang pagpapala ng dakilang lubikhang.